Our goal in this tutorial is to give you a broad understanding of how IGBTs work. Also, we will not go into the deep details of semiconductor physics or equivalent models. But let's deal enough with the operation of IGBT to understand what its structure is and how IGBT can be used. Insulated Gate Bipolar Transistor, or IGBT for short, is a semiconductor device that has a function between a bipolar junction transistor, BJT, and a field effect transistor, MOSFET. The IGBT transistor has the best parts of the two common BJT and MOSFET transistors in its structure. In fact, the large input impedance and high switching speed of the MOSFET and the low saturation voltage of the BJT combine to create another type of transistor, the IGBT, which is capable of operating at high values of collector emitter current. With almost zero gate voltage, as the name suggests, IGBT is equipped with isolated gate MOSFET technology and also has a common bipolar transistor. The result of such a combination has the output switching and conduction characteristics of a bipolar transistor, but is a voltage control device like the MOSFET. IGBTs are widely used in power electronics applications such as inverters, converters, and power supplies that require switching components where MOSFETs and BJTs do not perform well. High voltage and high current bipolar transistors are available, but their switching speed is low. On the other hand, although the switching speed of power MOSFETs is higher, the high voltage and high current components are expensive. IGBT Structure Insulated gate bipolar transistor has more power than standard bipolar transistor. It also has the ability to work at higher voltage and lower input losses. From a functional point of view, the IGBT is a FET combined with a bipolar transistor to form a Darlington configuration. The IGBT is a 3-pin conduction device that is made by combining an N-channel MOSFET with an isolated gate at the input and a PNP bipolar transistor at the output, forming a Darlington circuit. Therefore, the bases of IGBT are called collector, emitter, and gate. Two of these bases, C and E, correspond to the conduction path through which the current passes. The third pin, G, also controls the segment. The value of the IGBT gain is equal to the ratio of the output signal to the input signal. For a typical BJT, the value of gain is approximately equal to the ratio of output current to input current, called beta. In a MOSFET, the input current is zero because the gate is isolated from the main channel current. Therefore, the gain of the FET is equal to the ratio of the change in output current to the change in input voltage, which leads to this semiconductor being a conducting device, as is the case with the IGBT. Consequently, we can consider the IGBT as a power BJT whose base current is fed by a MOSFET. IGBT transistor can be used like BJT or MOSFET in small signal amplifier circuits. But since the IGBT offers the low conduction losses of the BJT with the high switching speed of the power MOSFET, it is an optimized switch that is ideal for use in power electronics applications. Also, the IGBT has a lower on-state resistance or RON than its equivalent MOSFET. This means that the power dissipation in the bipolar output is lower for a given switching current. The direct blocking function of the IGBT transistor is similar to that of the power MOSFET. When we use the IGBT as a static control switch, this part has the same voltage and current values as the bipolar transistor. Of course, the isolated gate in IGBT needs less power than BJT. An IGBT can be turned on or off simply by enabling or disabling the gate pin. 
Similar to most MOSFETs and BJTs, the IGBT is turned on by applying a positive input voltage signal to both the gate and emitter terminals. While the gate signal becomes zero or slightly negative, the IGBT turns off. Another advantage of the IGBT is that the channel resistance in conduction mode is lower than that of the standard MOSFET. Since the IGBT is a voltage control device, it requires only a small amount of gate voltage to remain in conduction. Unlike BJT, which needs constant supply of base current to stay in saturation state. Also, unlike the bi-directional MOSFET, the IGBT is a unidirectional device, i.e., it only transfers current in the direct direction from the collector to the emitter. MOSFETs have the ability to pass controlled current in the direct direction and uncontrolled current in the reverse direction. The operating principles of trigger gate circuits in IGBTs are very similar to N-channel power MOSFETs. The only major difference is that when current flows through the IGBT in the ON state, the resistance of the main conduction channel is much lower than that of the MOSFET. Conclusion In conclusion, it can be said that the main advantage of using IGBT over other transistors is the ability to work at high voltage, low on state resistance, simple setup, relatively high switching speed, and zero gate startup, which makes them a good choice. For high voltage applications such as modulation, pulse width, PWM, variable speed control, switching power supplies, or solar DCAC inverters, and frequency converter applications in the several thousand KHZ range. To be.